Welcome back everybody, Dino Joe here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We got the V-Pro 5200. It's going to be our victim today. I've heard quite a few times that magnesium or shavings in the bottom of a case is okay. Supposedly during some type of two-stroke training, they'll dump some shavings in the bottom of a chainsaw case. Put it back together and it'll run just fine, no issues. That's magnesium, so we're going to take the top end off of this four saw here. I'll grind a magnesium case over top of it and maybe maybe flush it out, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Alright, this will just be a real quick tear down since the saw will probably be junk anyway. But here we go. Put these on so we don't lose the fuel. I'll just take this card right out there. There we go. There's a peak inside the cylinder. Big open port. No marks on there. The case. A couple little marks on the piston. Not bad. That's just wearing in. All right, let's go do some grinding. more light all right here's what's left of a 661 case fell out of a truck got stuck under a car tow truck driver got it to me so we're gonna grind some in there keep don't recommend doing this on something you want to keep at all Do we think that's good enough? I'll do a little more. All right, that should be good. We'll blow that out, whatever comes out, I'll clean off the gasket material, put some goop on the gasket, and put it back together. Alright, there we go, that's what we got left. Put some sealing on the gasket, it did rip in a couple spots, but it should be okay for what we're doing. Alright, before it seals down, there will be a few edits in here, so I just want everybody to see this is sealing it down. I blew it out with compressed air and this is what we have left. Let's see how it goes. Put the air filter back on. We don't want much more junk getting in there, right? All right, let's go see if it fires up. All right, here we go. If it fires up here and runs, we'll put down the dyno, see if it lost any power or if it keeps running under a load. So, hey, see it fires. I guess it's time for a dyno. Oh. 
Well, made some pulls. That one a lot different than I expected. Let's see what it looks like. Take these out. All right, let me grab a glove, it's hot. Not a mark on that side. Intake side has a couple super light smudges you can see. You can see it's all peppered up there in the combustion chamber. Still some pieces floating around in the transfers. You get it zoomed in. You can still see it floating around in there. That's a piece of gunk on the piston. No more marks on the piston. Maybe a couple extra right there, but those are nothing super worrisome. Rinsed out most of it. I can't believe that. Did not expect that at all. Now we can look at the graph. If you want to see some more uh, not quite so scientific uh, testing, leave a comment. Let me know. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot, everybody. Here's the printout from that run right there. 3.2 horse, just like it was before. That's uh, very surprising. But I guess we could put that one to rest now. The magnesium shavings don't appear to hurt the cylinder. Don't appear to, they appear to wash right out. Still probably a good idea to keep everything as clean as you can. I'll continue porting all the way on the other end of the shop. Keeping everything sealed up. 